my favorite time of the year, not just fall, October, Halloween time. You know, if you've watched it, like 20% of my videos, you'll know, because I feel like I mention it all the time, how Halloween is my favorite holiday. I'm so into horror movies, creepy stuff just everything and my favorite video by far that I've ever made the only one that makes me laugh uncontrollably maybe just because I think myself hilarious but I feel like others think, think it's funny too it's my DIY Halloween costumes video from last year simple DIYs like two or three things you need that you will definitely have or should have around your house apartment whatever so I had to make another one this year and this is what this is last year's had like four or five in it um, so I'll link to it down below so you can watch it if you haven't I highly suggest it because I really I think it's really funny and they're they really are clever ideas one of them I teach you how to be all six characters of friends in one costume in case you like want to do a group costume and have no friends so yeah check that out for sure if you haven't seen it already but let's get into 2016 DIY Halloween costumes. The first one we're gonna do today is Stephen Avery, which you should know who that is unless you've been living under a rock for the past year or you have no friends who will give you their Netflix password. Um, Making a Murderer. It was a phenomenon for a while. I'm still obsessed with it. I've watched the whole thing like twice and a half or two and a half times and so our first costume today is gonna be Stephen Avery all you need is a flannel or a plaid shirt you need jeans I don't know if you can see them unfortunately the only jeans that I own right now are um, these ones with holes but really you know get some like Levi's or you know like country jeans and then what you're gonna do right the truth is in the blood vial on a piece of paper get some duct tape tape it to your shirt just like last year, y'all know how I like to do things. It's such an easy costume. Then, take it a step further, get yourself a little vial. This happened to be a thing of catnip that I emptied out and, okay, check it out. Get a vial, put some, I put red paint, a little bit of blue food coloring, which you can't even see, it looks pink almost, um, and water, shake it up. I took a drill, <laughs> I spent way too much time on this like two second costume. I took a little drill and put a little hole in the top. The truth is in the blood vial, he's innocent. Oh, there you go, first costume, easiest ever. Okay, for this next costume, probably the easiest Halloween costume you could ever DIY in your entire life. It is a bachelor or bachelorette contestant. All you need is two things that literally every single person has. It could be a male or female costume, unisex. We don't disqualify anyone in 2016. No sarcasm, I love everyone. And okay, all you need is a suit, or in my case, a dress. Possibly more formal than this one, but I really do like this dress. And um, you need that. And then you need a rose, which I do not have, but I do have this sunflower for my bedside table. I love sunflowers. Don't know why I'm smelling it. It is fake. But um, if you have any kind of flower or uh, <laughs> roses would definitely be good. So just, you know, go to one of your neighbor's houses. I'm, everyone has rose bushes. So just go to one of your neighbor's houses, pick a rose, carry that around. Any flower. I think people are going to get the idea. And obviously, I mean, do your hair and makeup better than this because they wouldn't look like that at a rose ceremony or sunflower ceremony. And sunflowers are so happy, way more happy than roses. I feel like roses are like sad. Also, I feel like I'm talking very fast. Chill out, Chelsea. Get un as excited. <laughs> so that's it for the second costume. It could not get easier than that, literally. Be this. <laughs> All right. Um, I called this over a year ago, last year, when I made a cosplay Harley Quinn suicide costume, way before the movie came out. But whatever, I'm, I'm not bitter. It's, you know, I mean, I get why everyone loves her. I get it. I get it. Margot Robbie, perfect. But anyway, um, here is my version of a sh Harley Quinn suicide costume. And like I said, I did make a cosplay last year. I have an awesome Daddy's Little Monster shirt, and I can't find it. So. What's gonna put that on? But first step, just wear something slutty. This is not, I don't own any slutty clothes really, so <laughs> just put something slutty on. And then it's really, it's all about the props and makeup. <laughs> okay, now Harley's got that blue and pink half and half thing going on. I couldn't find any bright pink eyeshadow, so we're just gonna use this NYX. Um, it is 
hippie chic and we're just gonna put it on one eye she's got it kind of going out there looking real good there we go okay this that actually doesn't look too bad <laughs> then we're gonna <laughs> then we're gonna take this little land comb like Christmas palette and take a blue and put it on the other side <laughs> oh my goodness okay remember this is at Harley Quinn this is not like I mean obviously there's people that are taking this way more seriously like Halloween I feel like this really is gonna be the most popular girls costume especially among teenagers and young women here's a little pink let's put that on there all right then as you all know she says has I mean she has a bunch of tattoos but it says rotten on her face so we're gonna write as best as we can in the <laughs> this is great going great um, you know you could get a friend to do this getting a little close to my mouth rotten you can read that right <laughs> Just say rotten, put rotten on your face. Did that's what it says. All right, the final step is this is how everyone's gonna know you're Harley Quinn if they haven't gotten it by this. Which I mean, if I saw someone who whose face looked like this, it would be obvious what they were trying to do. I'm not even gonna lie, but it's still. <laughs> so you're gonna need something red, something black. I'm gonna use this liquid eyeliner again. Same thing I wrote rotten in, and this um I think it's Revlon. Uh, red lipstick you're just want, gonna want to draw the tr not triangles the diamonds that she has all over her so we're just gonna put so she does not have them on her neck I don't think she has them on her arm but we're gonna just put some on her neck so we're just gonna a little diamond there we're gonna put a diamond okay right there where an Adam's apple would be if I was a male oh goodness okay it's kind of hard just going off the viewfinder and we'll put one more that looks kind of cool. Well, I bet it does not in actuality. And we'll go on and put some on our arm. Just so, you know, people get the complete picture. This is where she has them on her arm, and they're cool. I think hers are actually uh, red and blue on her arm for some reason. But, you know, whatever. Then we're going to take this eyeliner, and we're going to put that, and we're going to color it in. Then we're going to do one down here color it in then we're gonna do one <laughs> and color it in oops out of the lines out of the lines you get the picture ah. <laughs> okay and y'all want to see something really cool an actual actual Harley Quinn prop BRB so last year when I did make that cosplay costume I mean I like sewed shorts and dyed a shirt and everything but the thing that I was most proud of is this bat that I made. I am so proud of it. When I bought this bat, just a little backstory, I bought this bat at Walmart for like six bucks. It is a solid wooden t-ball bat that was black. Took a sander to it, or like literally a piece of sandpaper. It took me so, this took me like five or six hours to make, but it was so worth it because it looks so legit. Oh, oh you can't see it, oh, you can't see it. Okay, y'all ready for this? I'm just kidding, look. All those quotes, got the things, like how, and I left some of the black down there to make it look like Morbier. I love this thing. It, oh. If you dressed up like this and made a bat like this and carried it around, that honestly wouldn't be that bad on a hard looking costume. And had on something slutty? Come on. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed this year's as much as I enjoyed making it because I really, I think this is so fun. And we're still in the beginning of October, so if you did enjoy this, let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas for other like DIY super simple costumes that everyone can make with stuff they have in their house. I'm going to break some stuff with this. It's so heavy. Um, little solid wood uh, and my face. And um, anyway, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't to become a part of my YouTube family. And I hope you have a good day. Little disclaimer. Probably not the smartest idea to put red lipstick all over you. I've used like five of these now and I can't get it off. I can't get that pink off my eye. Even the blue eyeshadow. For some reason, this is not wanting to come off. I mean, I know I'm from Tennessee, but I don't want to be a literal redneck. Come on. And my hands are beet stained from my vegetable video earlier. <sighs> Click my face for my last video. Do it now.